Yo, <clears throat> what up? <laughs> what up? Wait, were you waiting for me? Wait, what up? Wait, what up, dude? Wait, how's it going? Hello, hello. Wait, chat. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Why are you so late, dude? Bad things happened. Bad things happened. I'm basically fucking... I'm sitting there, right? I'm sitting there. I'm taking out the trash from my room. Hold up. Bang. I'm taking out the trash from my stream room. And I pick up the garbage bag. And you ever have a garbage bag explode on you? I'm on the phone with Aiden. I'm taking it upstairs. He's like, so we have exactly 100 units left of the Scam Gray merch. You should do your best to push the final 100 units, although it is only the size large. And then, boom, shit fucking explodes all over the carpet as I'm taking it outside. And fucking just gross, nasty fluid. The fluid that you can only find in a garbage bag. I don't know what it is. I really don't. That, that, it just explodes, and I, oh, gross, Gr made me gag, so I gotta, I gotta fucking put it all back in, I had to, yeah, I had to taste, I had to taste it, and I was like, mm, didn't love it, and I had to throw it out, and then I had to clean it up, and then right before I go live, I'm like, I gotta pee, let me take a pee-pee, right, nothing weird, and then, and then, and I'm a, I, you guys know this about me, I sit and I pee, but do you ever have this thing, when you sit in your pee, and for whatever reason, that particular day, your dick is a little smaller than usual. It goes in between the seat and the porcelain bowl. And it just starts going down the side. That happened. That happened. And I'm like, come on. Come on. Give me something. We're in the game. Oh. It'll lurk as much, but you could actually re-hit with the fault line that gets regenerated here so you could fight rubble a lot. And that brimstone as a stimmy allows for you to break a lot of that timing that you play. So anyway, that's why I'm late. Meta of the fade and the raise trying to do the combination against you. So that's, Flip that's Wesby, thing Jonas, thing in the memberships. Max, like it's almost like you figured out how Lotus is kind of played. Guys, Elden Ring is tomorrow at 9 a.m. I need a graphic, actually. Hey, if anyone wants to make me an amazing graphic, I will pay you $100. Me and Squeaks dressed up in Elden Ring armor. $100 cash money. Val, you got three sites. You got three smokes. 200 in a deal. Lobbies. If it you blows my mind, I'm down. Sitting in a lobby you said Thursday? No. Not be a ton of Tell me you're uh, not in the there, Discord without telling me you're not in the Discord. Maybe someone is sitting in rubble, being aggressive, but MXs are already at the I at everyone. I at everyone. You already see the flash getting ready to get thrown out on the. I at everyone. are gonna come through as well, and then you have four players looking to fight against YP at rubble. So they had. You said Thursday? Yes, and then I at everyone that I was gonna watch my MXS match. I can move the cam over here. Yup! This is gonna be 2 0, man. Parasocial game night is tonight. Let me let me let me do my tagging. Let me tag my Discord. That is such a nice Wait, we just lost? For YFP, understanding that they've lost full control on one side, but they've noticed how much utility was being thrown on that right side of the map on A side that they know that it's weaker on B and C. So when you're trying to finish towards a A to B split at the beginning by making noise on that revolving door, despite you losing spike, the opportunity or the objective now at this point is to dwindle down those numbers on the defense and isolate those players. They pinched the baby door perfectly and then they were able to rehash that round in their favor so a great piss around the start and that's really going to foil that trap play that started out here for mxs now they're just going for a basic 
Aggression towards his this is a thief revenge match if you are a storyline Andy. If you guys don't know, MXS is a combination of two teams. Moist Moguls and Shopify Rebellion. It was two players from each team. Technically three from Moist. Uh, Thief was on the Moist Moguls. Uh, along with a Proto and Sim, uh, and then, of course, Flya and Brock. And then Flya Brock joined Mata and Vic from Shopify Rebellion. They married together uh, with a little sprinkle of Odashima, and that is and that is MXS. Uh, so anyway, Thief is now on YFP. Sim and a Proto are both on TSM. So everyone found a home, which is nice, which makes me very happy. Uh, I I don't personally like to look at it in the realm of, like, it, it's us against Thief, because I want nothing but the best for Thief. However, it is very possible from a viewership perspective, or even maybe from Thief's perspective, I think it's a very powerful tool to have a chip on your shoulder, and I would never blame someone for having that, to view it that way. Uh, but I, I, would, I would never. Because I would never, I would never have a teammate or a former member of, of my team who I, I prey on their downfall. Uh, but it is a useful motivation tool. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. That's absolutely now how he's viewing it. I, I agree with you. Deadman J, I'm just trying to clarify my intention is not that. I do not want people in here because I think people... A lot of you guys are maybe casual Valorant fans. You might only watch MXS. And I don't want your view... To be, hey, we fucking hate everyone that used to be on our team. Let's put them down like dogs. You know? I don't want that. Because I like I like Thief. I like a proto. I like Sim. You know? I was watching Sim stream the other night. Y'all are getting diffed, no? It's 2-0. <laughs> it is 2-0 on the first map. We are perhaps a bit... A bit... Uh, so you're right. Yeah, we are getting gapped. And then now we're refreshing our utility for that gecko and already pivoting everybody towards this seaside because of this wall that came out early from. Uh oh. Oh, I thought that was a flank. It's just their teammates. Can you turn the game up? I did a bit. Turn the game up. I did a bit. Keep MXS at bay. So it comes down now to how much information is that? Is that? Grab now towards this A site. And once they realize here that there's a little bit less, they could once again have. What does YFP stand for? Young fucking players. Kind of seeing who is sitting at B. Might have spotted Fly at the back there with the Prowler and YFP. Jonah lost that that expensive Vandal that he invested in that second round. Now left to a pistol to YFP. Young fresh Prince. Wait, actually. Yes, fucking please. <laughs> Wait, actually. I can't believe I got fucking right. They haven't even needed to well, that cam is actually nasty. Wait, this cam is disgusting. That cam is gross. Alright, it is a total 5v5 retake. Let's see how it goes. We have better guns. They have bomb down. Oh, look at this. The old suck and spray. Oh, that's a great stun. Why'd he swing with his body being stunned? Oh, buddy. Uh-oh. Mata. Oh, Mata! What else? To your right! Damn. Nasty. Hot nasty. And that's what we mean when, you know, you're playing your ranked games and you're like, why is our... How hype is it to have your own pro team playing in one of your favorite games? It's actually really... Uh, thank you for putting it in perspective like that. It's fucking cool. It's fucking cool. Because what this guarantees right here is that he could actually potentially come out for a trade. And if you get the trade in these two kills right there, that initiated that showstopper and then... Using showstopper on eco? Uh, I think securing the rounds always good. For MXS to win. So yes, it was an, it's still an expensive round for MXS to win at that point. Point. They wish it would have been a little more clean on those initial engagements. But I would love if I could get any team in the world. It would not be an NFL team. It'd be an NBA team. Which obviously I will never do in my lifetime. But maybe my next one. It would have made it a safer sand mount take. But maybe thinking they could get a lucky pick onto MXS with the weaponry that they have now. Did cause physics to take? My mom's calling me. Now they're back to a default setup. 
I just love it from MXS yeah, so far. They're really comfortable of their protocols of how they want to play the retake. And they play because of this uh, composition, right? You're not having like too okay. much to be able to have like fast retakes or one. I mean, you can because you have a lot of util, but you, you don't have a lot of delays. Uncle Thomas is snatch. Thank you, the five. Lil Bro is on excuse 900. He lives in a cartoon world with hijinks. <laughs> Bro, I actually pissed all over myself. I'm not making it up so you guys actually aren't mad at me for being late. I pissed all over myself and my body. I peed all over my feet and my toes. This is great util. 28 seconds is pretty fucking brutal. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, just hold that. I love this hold. set up and where you're currently playing for MXS. You're really just trying to find information. So Odashima dying first is not too bad because you're not Swing Jon. Oh my god, I can't believe that's so annoying. Oh, great swing off the flash. And now you can just tap. Just hold bomb. Literally nothing YFP Penny can do. So out of place. Wait, there's Hades 2 gameplay? No, I haven't seen it. I would love to see it. Very, very nice. Very, very nice in terms of the retake in the end there for MXS. Again, losing Odashima is not a big deal. Would you sign Tom Brady if he had an NFL team? No. He gets the information for the team. How many players walked in at this point? Well, and he's still created enough of yeah. a gap here that you kind of separated YFP on the pulse punch position. Look at how far those last yeah, two would. players are at towards that rubble to try to play the pulse punch. Well, I wouldn't one, hire Bill. Free pickings for him to get the backstab flank into the A site. So they have to be a little bit more uh, grouped up here at this point for YFP. Can you explain challengers versus masters? And find, challengers find is the shut down tier two division the masters is the mid-season tournament season for tier one players damn 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 that's a good round that lily video with you is 10 out of 10 you two have a great back and forth oh the pocky video Damn, look how good that trip is. Look how good that trip is. He couldn't destroy it. That's crazy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is Ascension still possible? Yeah, absolutely. I'll show you in the I'll show you uh halftime. Have you heard from Tarek lately? Uh yeah, I heard from him when he came to LA, he messaged me. Well, actually, I guess he messaged me to tell me he's not hanging out with me, but I heard from him. Yeah, he messaged me that he won't hang out with me, but he's still messaging me. YFP, at least to start off the round, a great attempt to try to break that timing of a fault line. They understand, as I was saying before, that Fly is going to play inside this B site. So we could fault line across the map to help the team. So they're trying to close that gap. Do you think you have a shot at beating M80? Uh, yeah. I mean, they look good. But I think we have a shot for sure, yeah. Cross lined uh, his opponent uh, Bones. Uh, sorry, Penny. That was trying. I'm give a great shot. You know, satchel across. So that that makes it a, a nice little start. We beat him last year. At least on the defensive side for MXS at the beginning of the round, but it was a lower buy that you had no matter what here for YFP. So good thing that they got a plant down. But this gives them a chance here to really talk things through uh, and really again. So here it is. Here it is. Here's the challengers 2024 North American Stage One uh, 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 bracket. We are in Group A. We're 4-0. and If we beat YFP, we become 5-0, and a.k.a. we beat every single person. Oxygen actually had a surprise upset yesterday. They lost to Core. Uh, Core uh, beat them 2-1. I watched that series. Uh, so Oxygen's not even the second seed in our group. Uh, M80 is looking like the best team overall, just in pure round count. But, to be fair, they have the weakest group uh, of the two groups. Um, and so they, 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 you know, I'd be curious to see how they do against an Oxygen, us, even Core. Uh, but they look good. And then we're all going to compete in the Midseason Cup, which is going to start next week. So you're second? Uh, overall, I think, yes, we would be second overall. It'll be... First, second, yeah. There's, I don't think there's a distinction between first and second, though, for 
I guess maybe for seating, yeah. This is good too. What are like, MXS permabans? I don't know. Pick up a, a lockdown, so they wanted to up the gear. Oh, look at that! What a great nade. MXS though, they still have good utility for the retake once this lockdown is done. So they have to be ready for RFP. We talked about him. Why be using a lot of util on this? And they're all grouped up towards tree here to fight. And the attacker's lockdown was only gonna buy them. Oh, that's scary. He has 3 HP and he's swinging like a madman. That's a great molly from Vic. Little man's on the bomb. Little man? Little man? Little man's not done. Wow. Wow. Little man. Holy shit. Yo, Jonks. Thank you the 50 gifted, man. Was that a not good plot there for YFP? Because we talked about how yeah. Thank you very much. Izzy Fuji, thank you the five. We win without Tarek, but, but we, with Tarek, you're on time. On okay, well, Luna, that's true. But when you have to try to swing back in that spot to, to try to Dude, right I freaking dropped. I spilled a garbage bag. You guys will not give me any credit. I spilled a garbage bag and peed all over my feet, and I get nothing. Aunt Medina, thank you the membership. Mata looks amazing right now. 13 and 3 is insane. So things are starting to slip a little bit through their fingers, and MXS has good control right now since he lo lost that pistol round in second round. And now, YFP, they have a second life. Penny could grab this orb. Now they could engage towards that seaside. 13 3 is crazy. And he's going in. Oh, body blocked. And he misses Feels bad, man. <laughs> well, he got through the smoke, and Odashima is going to stay in his hurt. That showstopper. And... All right, it's a full retake on C. I can't believe Odashima didn't get hit by that rocket, by the way. Did you see that? That was crazy. Oh, it hits uh, the guy up top. This is so messy. This is so fucking ugly. This is so ugly, I can't even describe. Oh, an underhand nade here is huge. Dude. <laughs> that was so... Ugh. That was not fun to look at. It was a great retake, but it was just so chaotic. Raise ult in Viper ult kind of on site, but not really. Like, look at the Viper ult. It kind of covers Waterfall and main, but, like, not the bomb. Again, miss comes from YFP. Instead of doing a 3 2 1 to guarantee that train, now you're giving away your lives one by one because you are so separated. By yeah, definitely not elegant Valorant. Defenders, so 15 uh, 4 and 5 is crazy. Toss out a nade here, it crushes. Alright, what's Thief running? Teleport back by Thief, unsure if the snake by two was gonna block him off from the rest of the team or also the smoke so yfp there's only one on c it's vic by himself he does have ult though brimo and uh fly will have ult in one Ooh, look at that hey good place by yfp they pulled rotates over to C. Now A's yeah, open. Focus a little bit more on B side too, understanding that Matthew, YFP think of the ten dollars. Gonna start calling you Ludwig Hatake really with all the excuses you make. That's really a wee reference. I don't get. As a group to get plants, which is why you're seeing a lot more players on this side. Oh, why? just kidding. Vic also okay, they are actually going C. Where they're playing side passively, right? If there's a lot of util coming in towards the C side, he has orbital strike for delay or for retake. They don't so have they any have ults. Perfect bodies on fighting towards this B sign and have perfect util here. The more YFP waits. Such a good camera too from Odashima. He can just study down a long. No, nobody's there. The hit has to come into C. Oh, Brock. Okay. Nice trade by Mata. This nade. Good delay on the nade here. Because they, they're committed to this site based off time. Okay. I don't know why Odashima just checked cam right there. <laughs> hey, good round. Good round. <laughs> Odashima checking cam on A. Like, are they here? is such a good player and a silent killer and using great utility for the team he used that orbital strike to delay instead so that his teammates could come in and yeah orbital strike plus nade and they just took too much time as, uh, craged uh, void thinking of memberships for the retake. he's still alive at 22 hp this he looks I, i'm gonna say it we look if, we look like we are at our best right now of the five games we've played in challengers i don't think we've looked better
right? Like we are crushing, and especially because if you think about it, this is a T-sided map. And we have not lost a round that's not pistol or bonus. Did the situation with the team going to the States get fixed? If you're talking about the Apex Legends team, it got fixed in the sense that we are we had to release them from Moist so they could compete at the LAN in May. And they are going to compete, but not under the Moist banner because uh, they did not officially get a visa through Moist. So it worked out in the sense they get to play, but... Elden Ring will be tomorrow at 9 a.m. And tonight at 7.30, if you're part of the Parasocial Club, we're doing another Kahoot quiz night. We're back in it. Who's IGL? For us, it's Flya. For them? I don't know. I'm assuming it's Jonah? I don't know. Exactly. So they need to iron that out a little bit more. And MXS has something else Holy to say. Shit. Pushing out towards from B and to get first blood. That's a nice little pivot going in for MXS. What's IGL? In-game lead? I think it's Bones. Like IGL is a person who tells the team where to go. Like, Usually right, you have one directed well, leader. We to... Hey, we are going to go A. No, cancel, cancel. We're going B. Let's go B now. We got to kill. Go B. Except they probably are smarter than that. It's Physic. But there's Fly with the Rolling Thunder to try Huge. and prevent the plan, and YFP completely leave it. Look at this fight over on A. This fight on A here. Ah, uh, Penny with the latest lurk ever. This is going to be maybe our first loss. Fly is on sight. Fly, what is that? Now you give up. After yeah, Fly dies right there, this is a great round for YFP. We'll talk about it as soon as the, these last two players will try to retake the site here. Oh, it's Jesus. Wait, I actually jinxed him. Holy shit, I actually jinxed him. Wait, I actually jinxed him. Wait, no. Holy shit. What happens if someone no-shows? Do you have a sub? Uh, I don't think we do have a sub right now. Our sub is uh, me. <laughs> if they if they happen to lose everybody, then old Cooter comes out of retirement. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably be like a like a duelist, like a like a duelist lurk hybrid, you know, kind of like an innovative. Uh, Duelist Lurk Hybrid. Mac is the sub. Well, I think I probably am a little better than Mac. No offense to him. He's a great coach, analyst, but I'm Once a better again, a, a push overall aimer. B, and then a re-push towards the A site where YP is heading into now. Oh, I thought that was going to work. Oh, baby. That was bad. Uh-oh. Wait, what's going on, folks? Wait, what's going on here? Wait, what's going on? They switched to B? What a sweaty move. Thief has been doing a great job so far, just consistently rotating MXS away here from these positions. But again, it comes Are you down signed to on the team in legal to play? To do the ideas uh, behind YFP. Look, man, I pay the damn contracts. If I can't get a little bit of play time. Grouped up. Was, it looks uh, like we're saving. Well done there for them to work the map here. Great position for the pulse. It looks like we're well. saving and we're playing exits here for the last three players of MXS because there is practically. Do you think Moist would incorporate Clove into team comps? I think everybody will start incorporating Clove into team comps. Retake, uh, B with less. Hundred percent. So hopefully they'll be able to save their weapons. That's Mana about to come head to head against Penny. And in that case, you really don't want to. You don't do make meet the minimum rank requirements for pro play. I'm a former professional round, player so in Super Smash Brothers. You had a six How the fuck did Brock just die? And you stay away I'm a former from Super uh, Smash Brothers competitive player. Overextending and try to hunt down uh, against your opponents because uh, that could be a very very important ult for MXS in this round right here. And YFP have had more success once they've 
kind of faked one site and pivoted to B. I was top 1,000 in the world. Raid. They've been stuck in trees. Not bad. I think lockdowns that were a little too early. I would have liked to see them later in the rounds just to really catch MXS in a bad spot where they are going to forced to make a bad decision potentially and there hasn't really been too many bad decisions out, out of 2000 that's still not bad breaking that why if he's posting wait you're being you're being you're being but that's still not bad you know pivoted to another site when mxs are late to the party so i think why if he are picking top 100 in arizona yes sir yes sir top 50 how can we have kind of a backup plan at Ow, B, someone to make that call on the pivot earlier so that those rotators can at least try Ow. to shake up the plant on B before it happens yeah, I think MXS is slowly starting to figure that out as How well. long that ago was that? Their quad pushes. That's two times they're doing it Eight here. They're pushing front B site. First off, getting a kill. Second time, breaking the turret. Yet, they still lose the round. So, YFP, it's just a repeat of that pistol in that second round where they're under chaos. They just up the tempo into one side. And actually, the sheer number of numbers and also having better oh, post plant protocols since that timeout allows for them to get these last two rounds here to make it 6-4. to four. So, that's very nice at that point. So, MXS, maybe after this timeout, they're like, hey, let's go back to what was working for us here just just add util keep them at bay and then not try to aggress too much at the beginning hey let i don't know if you remember but the first game of the season i had an interview and i got the job nicholas congratulations congrats man i hope the job goes well remember if you go above and beyond for the first six months you can coast for the next six years <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, but I have fun. Overwhelm Wick Vic, and he has to back away. He's getting smoked off there by the omen of Thief in the boot, but may just discover him in the corner. Oh, no. Getting one's not bad. He could have gotten more. He should have waited for the intel off the boot, but that's why he will lose one in the process. Numbers are even. Ghost plant even. But Kenny has to explore outside the site. Why if he don't want to be trapped like they were in yep. the time? The neural set. Great nade. It's up to Brock. Now with the shots towards that flash, Brock can start to defuse. Draw YFP's attention. See, the wingman's Brock down. will be challenged. We'll get halfway. Hey, tell me knows the wingman was destroyed from someone on the left and couldn't get the ball. Okay, what's going on? What a great pincer out of YFP. Yeah, and I know you mentioned Last Wick, but there was an opportunity that Vic could have become John Wick at that point <laughs> in the back of that C site because there was a, a potential bad timing from YFP behind that boom, but that more players would have pushed. Wait, I actually spot. think I jinxed it. I actually said we have not lost a round, and then we lost three rounds straight. Fuck, Vic needed more there. I guess the boom ball was coming for him. I I just feel like YFP started hitting their fucking shots. Look, here's the thing. Lotus, all you need on defense is six rounds. If you get six rounds on defense, like, attack side's free. The it's the, it's the greatest the attack map in all of Valorant right now. No line. meme. For MXS, now, I mean, if you ever play Valorant, you know that, it, like, even at low level, yet unfortunately, not enough if you get, like, rounds eight rounds on T-side, sometimes you still end up losing. It's the most demoralizing map because you will literally fucking win eight rounds and then still lose the game. Yikes. Looking like Tarek with that ult. Back and let the retake come to them. Why are going to take the initiative? Punishing MXS if they're late on the rotate. Now that the snake bite is gone, Bones could be ready. To Someone look! No one looks! No one looks! No, don't use your. Oh, this is a bad time to ult. No one looks! Not. After no one looks. Yeah, getting four. All right. Okay. Game six and six okay. Is, okay. Okay. Again, Here's my only ask: Can we win one pistol round? Can we win one? I think we're the worst pistol team in challengers compared to our skill. Value out of how much they're able to do there. That showstopper in a nightfall. One creating space. One getting information in that round number twelve. That locked down. Six on CT is great. Agreed. Space. I mean, they they've done a, the TP as well. That had that you had from Thief. Every single one of those ults were actually so. You know what's funny is every single rounds that they've gotten in their favor. But again, that's Mata's still, still killing it. To burn two timeouts. MXS now has opportunity of the attack side, and potentially even I think they you know who's killing it. Moose on C9. Moose is great.
So they have a they have an opportunity now to actually maybe they have one left. Although C9's they're not great job here. doing great, are they? Yeah. So boys have one left, so they still have a chance here to. I thought they were kind of struggling. Now and what's important is to win a pistol. They haven't done that yet. Clear left. Right oh here. God. We have Fizzik gotten, uh, revealed himself. Hey, good intel. So good intel, and we got the orb. Smoking. It was a nice fake out by MX. They beat Lev and EG. Oh, so they're they're way better this split. Sorry, I'm not I'm not up to date on this split. Who else could be coming out of there? But now the smoke is really Wait, who has a bad team to split? So the other um, I don't think have to worry shit. Too much about C, is it Leviathan? Who's doing bad? Could be going. One of the Brazilian teams isn't doing well. Furia, Furia, Furia looks tough. Dude, he's gonna die. <laughs> Wow! Did you see that? That was crazy. If those were kills, that would have been the most amazing. Peek, peek. They know exactly where Penny is coming from. This is gonna be so tough to do with just Satchel. We want a pistol round. GG. I mean, they're low on HP. There's that first kill. Yes, definitely possible. You know the Molly from Vic just came from San. Finish up Odashima. Rocket the most healthy. Could be using Vic as bait too. I know I would. And no Penny brought down the 17. Now swings against Brock and We want a pistol! mechanically very impressive. You should watch regular VCT. I do, I just don't watch all the games. It's just a lot of games. I watch Sen's games. And both of those players uh, are who else did I watch? Die. That would have been such a different story there for YP on the retake, giving more chances here for Penny to win this one versus four. Again, I was watching some of APAC. Four. It was 22 and 5 HP remaining for the last two players. But that was that was very nicely done, at least for well, MXS to run that high. bait on that B side to get the C plant in the end. But that that's why the, the gap is not that wide. Again, if I, want to, if I want to talk about challengers, these players can actually shoot here for whatever team you're on right now, whatever rank you're in, in this um, in this stage one. You have a chance here to make this. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. They're all pushing. Sweat right now. Uh-oh, they got two. Did not download this strat whatsoever. Now two left physic around the corner very weak teammate other side of the world jonah says good luck brother <laughs> we'll just uh, what's we'll just up brother out when they plant mxs still have to do that so good luck be... brother we tried to i knew it i knew it was coming team. but uh, this is that no, that might be no offense to the commentator they've been doing a great job that was the worst <laughs> sketch impression i've ever heard how are you gonna try to shoot it to get the spike down we'll do so at the last second by the bulldog of Brock MXS now brought Jonah all down to his low. I mean that with no disrespect says you I yes does says me yeah I mean it was still again to, to, joking aside it's still a special teams play right you tried to pinch in on on extremities you made it very expensive against your I don't know if you remember this but earlier this year you read my reddit moment. post about me getting laid yeah I remember <laughs> going into yes I remember the guy who got in depth MXS. about this buy around you're still trying no to I do out. remember Look, that yep because he's playing breach he still has to use a lot of util or could only afford a share so this gives a chance here for yfp really let's hear your sketch what's up again, brother uh for yfp and by the way that special was uh, teams. An MXS around that we were talking special about play right? so tuesday really good that tuesday no, i like to do a more sensual sketch it's kind of like a monroe wait are we gonna win our uh our bonus winning our bonus is huge want some more group back up they don't have any eyes on baby door though and that's where maybe physic has to rethink and see if they could get a get ready for it going because i want some more run it yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know it's coming. A minute to work with right now for MXS. So I like that Odashima's falling back slowly to try to re-clear, but they still too afraid to clear towards front B. So they can't really go for a Hobbit or a Baby Door break to rush into this right B there. site. You're just gonna play the power numbers because you have a, a bonus round. Just try to open up this A site, especially here okay, with that's the fine. Uh oh, one tree, one tree, one tree. MXS nice. I'm gonna grab my ult. Let me grab my ult. Oh, you can only grab it once. Never mind. 
It's a one versus three for Physic. Toxin screen down. And you just heard the door in tree. Now he brings his wall down. He spots one in rubble. This location is revealed too. Physic's gonna take a safer position, not wanting to be swung on by the person in tree. You heard Vic stepping up. Great Molly. Will be mollied off the spike. So Precious That was a really bad gunfight. Physic with a great swing on the Odashima is left with two, but this Molly lasts forever. Gonna attack the spike. Gecko flash. Not on, not on, not on. Just playing with the food at this point. Yup. That's a great round. That's a great round, and as they say in the business, an econ shatterer. After he got the stimmy to look back into the A main, that is Brock. And if you guys don't know how Foon is, well, or who Foon is, then you gotta go back into watching some source videos there on YouTube. But nonetheless, uh, I, I gotta say, it was damn, look at the util they use. Really I actually think that corner is kind of bad. Gap, as I, was mentioned before, when Mata I don't like the, the way they designed that corner. I don't know if I'm a hater of it. Great impact into a team, just like I find it really difficult to play, and I never see it used very well. To come back in that round. And like I said, they had to come in as a group. I love that they still have the thrash to use that as a scouter to find information. It's a little gimmicky of a corner. I wish they would do more, make it better. Uh, and then they were able to get all that information towards A for a nice little pulse plant in the end. So that is they have door. I guess it's better if you break door, yeah. He has to go back into a uh, uh, semi buy. You ever watch a Sean Garris cast? Love Sean Garris. Small shields across the board. In your elo, it's amazing. Uh, no, in Radiant Lobbies, it doesn't work well at all. That's what I'm saying. And it's being read correctly at least to start at the beginning of this so. game here for MXS because a B slam to towards B. But B slam it. This before, B slam it. It made some noise. The wall came up. The to heaven. Go, C. go, go. This time because there's no wall. Go coming, rats. They only want to use it. Oh, no, go. That edge. There you go. Yeah, go. Yeah. Why did they open door first? <laughs> that seems so random. What is opening that door do? Just confuses him for a half second. Or maybe into B. Now MXS, maybe sandwich between a rock and a hard place, depending on how the frontal fight. Wait a second! I just heard the door. <laughs> There's no way they're planning on B. Uh oh. Three v two. Three v one. Nice. Good round. Mod is at 24 kills or something. Yeah. Again, I, I think there was an opportunity there for YP to really push 25. the opponents towards their stack on that C site if they did the same protocol of walling. Mata has more kills than their top two frags combined. That front B. And when that door opened, That's kind of crazy. Oh my God, let's, let's start rubbing our hands together. And he has here. ult. But then they realized thereafter that MXS just planted towards the B site and made it a lot more difficult. Yes, it looked like they were a pinch. But Elden Ring tomorrow, guys. Elden Ring tomorrow, 9 a.m. Right and if anyone wants, anyone wants to make a beautiful graphic of me and Squeaks looking like Elden Ring characters. I will tweet it out and pay you hundreds. MXS has full control now. The attack side. Oh, he got teamed. Specifically, one of the hundreds. It happens. Bro, you gonna you kind of got your assay right there. You know the brim smoke is giving him some cover. Now push A stairs. Now Thrash can come out from Brock to get some info. Around. Is it a B hit? YP will not be. This smoke dropping is gonna be death. Oh, two there would have been nice. All right, 4v3, 4v2, and we have, uh, and it's a Gigi's, and it's a... Look at Squeaks' Twitter, he has one. He's got the showstopper. Would you really want to invest? It all depends on how this next turn against Brock goes. You heard where Brock is. You heard him. Brock just runs across. That is a funny so one. Oh man, that was unfortunate there but a great read for mxs and a great fake that it actually initiated there towards that b site <laughs> the thrash are going to be remember when they had the thrash a couple of rounds ago in their bonus they committed towards that a site now that they're using thrash to drone into this b site you saw the instant pivot coming out from yfp towards b but they always kept mana for mxs inside that staircase so it allows for you to get space uh, control on that staircase the women to go for a plant and you catch everybody else off guard you talked about that show so for those saved in the previous round there for Benny, that's going to be the most important piece of util this time. You missed the clutch? YFP, Wait, what do you mean? It's a 4v1. Buy. They're trying to buy around that Vandal, around that showstopper. This is a force buy that could be very costly for If we win this, it's it's this actually here. Jover. One away from Rolling Thunder, Fly gets the orb. And Deep was ready for Paranoia. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. 
That sucks. They were just like way too late on that. Oh, good shot by Bones. Wait, that's a huge shot by. That actually might have won them around. Do you still have a PO box? Nah, I got rid of that. Trying to slow this down. Back to me. Ludwig is so boring that I have to watch a whole medical series so I don't die of boring. Boarded, bored. <laughs> what the fuck was that message? Are you just trying to like rationalize you enjoying Grey's Anatomy? It's not gay, man. You could watch Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Ludwig's so boring I have to watch Grey's Anatomy. Yep, no, I have to. And Mr. Fancy Pants looks really good, but I don't want to. But he's so boring that I have to watch all of Grey's Anatomy. They have to go for this too, because they invested so much, unless they want to save these two rifles. But yeah, good luck. Penny falls now. Economy is going to be in shambles for YFP at this point, as we have map point. A ban for that's crazy. It was a message delete by a bot. The idea behind what YP was doing, seeing how a lot of these players are playing these pulse plans from Baby Door, from uh, or Unbreakable or Hobbit, however you want to call it. But they had two players getting ready to fight in that area. That was Jonah and that was Penny. So despite them getting first blood, they already used the showstopper and uh, for that. So they wanted to use the. I stopped watching after to to season ten. So that they could uh, same. Inch across. But Derek's gone. I'm gone. You know what I mean? Makes sense, started pushing towards the spawn and really. I actually think I stopped watching guard. season six. So now you're hoping that your guardians are going to be... Me and Squeaks are just going to beat the game. So we're not doing all bosses. Although we'll probably do Millennia. Against MXS, but it's not looking too good here. Yet a round to be won by YFP on the second Mata round. dropping 30 MXS in this many rounds would be crazy. Util, ults, thrash, to now secure the map. It's great that Brock and friends can take this inch by inch. Pick up the, the Gecko Util and go again. The Thrash leads the way. Discovers maybe Physic in that corner. You gotta judge from... Mahada died to the fucking turret. There goes the 30 bomb. Wait, are they gonna win this? They are. Look at that. We got rocked by the judge. Guys, Elden Ring tomorrow, 9 a.m. Winning those fights from rifles, but it was close range battles with guardians that still came in their favor. So 28, 13, and 6. You know what? We just wanted to secure Mata's 30 bomb. We lost that round on purpose. They didn't have to use that many of those ults that they picked up through these kills to actually win the round. Only the lockdown was used. Now they have um, a nightfall to use in this round, a pit to hold the defense. There's some breathing room right now for YFP, but they're still five rounds behind against MXS. They have to be. I thought it was today. Immaculate. Uh, yeah. That they want to play the defense That's because so I said it was today on stream, but then I corrected it in my subreddit side. because people and wanted to I watch. Uh, excuse me, I corrected on my Discord because people wanted round. to watch. So type of opportunity for a deep right clear with util, uh, including myself, MXS play. With this composition for MXS, unless you're trying to go behind a boom bot, so you're really keeping MXS now towards this B and A setup uh, that it currently has two players there for season eight, nightfall for retake, and delays here. Scam streaming today. On a site. So, Look, so man, I added everyone. Okay? It, at this point, if you're not in the Discord, that's where I update people. I just... I, ha I, I have... I have zero guilt. 9 a.m. What time zone? Now we're asking dumb questions. The same time zone I always fucking use. I'm not... Guys, I'm not getting creative with it. I'm not making up time zones that I'm not in. I, I say it's the same time zone for every damned event I ever do. I've only ever used one. I'm not flipping it today being like, you know, what'd be fun? Let's do a GMT plus three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a 30 bomb. It, imagine the clutch. Once all the dust has settled, Mata at least has the spike. He's being loud. Ten seconds left. He's like, the spike. Will ready. cross the swing. Penny gets caught in the headshot. No way. Mata, is that guy no time. Too late. Too late. No time, no time. Not a bad idea. He should have planted earlier before the ult. But that's hindsight. 31 kills. Holy shit. Why pop ult? Because he thought that Thief was in tree. And if he gets the kill, he wins the round. However, Thief was not in tree. 
he was by Hobbit door, and so the ult was actually not close. I don't think it was greed. It was like if he was in tree, that was the right play. What do you hate first time viewers? I don't hate first time viewers. But if somebody's saying when is the Elden Ring stream, that's not a first time viewer. But there's no ults here. It's cycling back now closely in favor of MXS as they grab this orb. Don't you know what happens sometimes? One away from that one. Sometimes I push back a bit and people make up a guy that is more defensible. They're like, what? Think about the first time viewer that just showed up for the first time and they've never watched before and they don't know that you're Pacific Time Zone and they really wanted to watch Elden Ring because it's the only game they can watch because it helps them with their uh, anxiety. Like, you're making up the most defensible viewer. As opposed to what is more accurate, oh. which is just somebody asking a dumbass question. Yup! And we have Vix ult, and we have Brock's ult. Jonah, elusive. You would expect... People to be in tree now checking for the crossfire at baby door knows that's still closed but you obviously don't want to open the door behind them you want to try and take this engagement as quick as you can well, yeah. oh, hey, he's got the initial shot out of big but jonah couldn't do it nah, nah 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 nice that fucking map that was so close that was a great map double ult, so i understand that he had to pick up the pace at that point but there, there had to be an issue right there, potentially right-hand models going out for Penny with that showstopper because he didn't see Brock towards that tree. And that probably was the implication there that allowed for MXS to get that two versus one in that last I got to see what the hell Mata's stat line was. I think Mata might have gotten like YFP. fucking 34 kills. Too many rounds where they had to play for overtime from like, what, 12 to 6 at that scoreline. It was, uh, it was inevitable. Ali, think of the four months. Brock, or sorry, Mata is still a top fragger. Brock in second there, but 31 kills out of Mata, almost clutching. That, 31? Those four kills nice. on that one round. Mata is just such a smart... 31, 14, and 6. That's crazy. That is crazy. In 20 rounds. 21 rounds. That's crazy. How do tiebreakers get decided for the season? Uh, so I believe the way it works is you go by record first, right? So whoever has a better record is higher up. Then you go by map count. So, for example, we are a lower seed than, than M80 because although we have the same record, 4040, they did it in fewer maps. So they won quicker. If maps are also tied, then you go by round differential. How much did you win by? Uh, I don't think... Last season this came up. This was a thing that, that was important. Here, it does not look like it's really relevant. Because uh, everyone seems to be different enough. VL st VLR standings aren't correct right now. Well, yeah. Well, are you saying because it doesn't include today or just in general? Can you explain the bond between you and FNS in basketball terms? Uh, JJ Reddick just discovered uh, Kai Sanat's content and kind of likes it. That's the best I could do. That's the best I can do. And in this, FNS is JJ Reddick and I'm Kai Sinat. I don't think that's shit. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up. Wait, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. That was pretty good. How does that not make sense? Yeah, I'm Kai. Because I go to all-star games. You're right. I, I have the Ludwig Tarek Invitational. That's like an all-star game. FNS is a former pro turned content creator. Not too dissimilar from JJ Reddick turned pro player into podcaster. You're not Kai and he's a one-trick bench player. Cody, I think you actually just know nothing about CSGO and Valorant, but that's okay. He's an IGL first off. He was on Optic when they won Masters. Like, yeah, he's not fucking LeBron James, but... Have you looked at JJ Reddick's career highlights? <laughs> One of JJ Reddick's career highlights is dunking a basketball. 
That's like one of them. He did it one time ever. <laughs> now, I actually think my analogy is fire. I stand, I stand by it. I find it defensible. He was a sharpshooter. That's true. I'm not saying he was bad, but FNS wasn't bad. Coots! Hi, baby. Oh, we'll get rid of it. <sighs> Zombie, thank you very much for the 10 gifted. You're like the Celtics Shaq? <laughs> okay, I'm not even a fucking pro. Why are we even... You're just trying to hurt me. Do you feel big? Do you feel big when you when you push her around? Penis. Earth. Te ta te te Table. Table. Huh, okay. So, T's not at the start. How about... Wa... Like, water. Where the f... Okay, the T's at the end. The T's at the end. So, it needs to be like... Like, cadet. Okay. Uh, facet. One facet of life. Ah, he gets there. Not bad. Not bad. All right, mini crossword Thursday. We have bluegrass instrument. Is that not a harmonica? Audible way to think is to talk out loud. Uh, speak, speak. Uh, Aladdin character whose only line is, Oi, 10,000 years. Uh, uh, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. That's the genie. Uh, members of a company C-suite are, uh, chiefs, chiefs, behind schedule, Ludwig, uh, the schmear goes here, uh, so this is definitely bagel, and this is not allowed, talk aloud, and then that is the, uh, uh, Amazon's assistant is Alexa, so it's not, uh, exec, execs uh and then this is the banjo okay why the fuck do they call c-suite members execs i guess they are executives but they're chiefs aren't they chiefs that's the whole that's what the c means no like ceo is chief executive off oh i guess it's executive no because it's only one they're executives, but not always chiefs. I think it's different. I think it's always chiefs, but never execs. Not always execs. Because, like, what about the COO? It's a chief operation officer. Right? I don't know. They kind of fucked that one. I Although, I will acquiesce in the crossword. If it's plural, it has to be a plural. So members has to be execs and it, it would have to be chiefs. Uh, and I only wrote chief, but I, so that's, that's the only, that's where I fucked up. Facet, buddy, you are behind. <laughs> uh, all right. New York times connections. Mean girls in Oz curb plan parachute gutter. Okay. Let's, let's, let's figure this out. What do we got here? Uh, mean, okay, curb, no, plan, no, gal, girls, no, Oz, in, cal, wait, hold up, gallons, ounces, inches, I don't know what cal would be. Calories? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, plan? Great, uh, how about great? Mm. Great manhole gutter curb. 
things on a street. Okay. Girls rule. Mean. Fleece. Parachute. Wow, this is tough. Aim. Girls. This is tough. Intend, plan, rule, aim. I think aim is wrong. Rule, intend, plan, mean. I mean to do something. Yeah. Wait, what? I intend to do this. I mean to do this. I plan to do this. I aim to do this. Duh. Fleece, parachute, rule, girls. Fleece, parachute, rule, girls. I, I, a bachelorette party gone wrong? What is this? Go oh. Golden Fleece, Hercules Stole, Golden Girls, the show. Golden Parachute, I've never heard of before. Golden Rule is the Aristotle one. Okay. All right. Golden Parachute, I've never heard of. CEO's bailing is the Golden Parachute. I see. I did not know this. I am learning this. I am learning this. Okay, let's move on. Let's do a quick strands. I'm really good at this. Everyone says I'm really good at this. So what? So what? So, so. Needle. Off rip. It's a needle situation. So I need an E connected to an E. 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 I don't see needle. Thimble? How about thimble? Okay. So what? Sewing machine? Sewing machina? What else do you sew? You sew mittens? You could sew a mitten? Packed. Okay, this is a bit tough. Stitch? I see stitch. Okay. Ch ch Chepat. Patch. There we go. I still don't know what the big word is, but I'm just doing sewing-related words. Gl mm. Clone. <laughs> I don't know, man. Thread? Could knit be in here? I guess knitting is different than sewing, right? Hat. Keep it simple. Uh, okay, so it's definitely not GC. That's not a thing. CG is also not a thing. So it's probably CL. Clean. Clean. Cloned. Or it could end in LC. Elk. Oak. Snolk. Okay, we also have over here, late. It always follows me, doesn't it? Hmm. It has to be CLO, right? Clongs? <laughs> Clong? Cloth? Oh, okay. Okay, the map is about to start, so I need to hurry up. 
Need needle. There we go. Wait, there was two E's connecting. How the fuck did I miss that earlier? Uh, Taylor? Taylor... Tailoring? And then finally, seam. That wasn't too bad. That might have been my best one. Thank you for the $5, Brandon Styles. It kills me that I've been looking at Needle this whole time. That's... You know, I feel like I was quick. I feel like you're taking away from me right now. Brandon, I feel like I was actually fucking good there. Okay, okay. See, I shouldn't have said anything. I knew, I knew being vulnerable would come back to hurt me. That was your fastest? That was your best? Damn, would have hated to be here for the fucking slow one. Like, that's all I get, man. That's all I fucking get, dude. Put myself out there. What do I get in return? Back shots. Bandle. We only have 19 seconds. I can bang this out. I can see it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. Easy. Team as good as MXS will just shoot the lead. Phil the Collins, baby. It's like they think I don't know Phil Collins. Penny, the and the they think I didn't listen to Genesis. They think I don't know Peter MXS. Gabriel. YFP, be aware of this, and the smokes that'll cut them off, so... YFP, taking control of mid is the most difficult task, but it opens up so many options as to where you want to take the normal spike. Yeah, now you're keeping MXS at bay. You got... A little bit of attack to start so this off. one is yfp's map heal coming out we are currently starting start on defensive defense. sides you thought maybe that mid side was open right but as soon as which is actually pretty up, good for vibes smoke, uh, out there from flya and then you also have vic posted up there with the they do call me the white northern lion the <laughs> yeah the white northern lion and that's exactly where yfp is heading into so it'll have to come the down white to that bald northern lion talking about how much how's our split uh used to be horrible but i think it's pretty good from mxs here Holy shit. Look at that. Just spraying through. Spraying through. We get three. There's one on sight. One on sight. One on sight. Last on sight. Never mind. We killed him. That's a good start, baby. Are you ending after this match? No, 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 no. We have something very important to do after this match. That's what was going to be very difficult, not necessarily only for Bones and... I'm just going to tell you guys, after this match, we are going to create the punishment wheel that both me and Squeaks will spin every time we get 10 total wipes. We're going to create the wheel, okay? From that dog that went into mail, you had no idea where MXS were actually posted up except towards that A ramp, well, and you wanted to gamble that back. Gay Sarah, so thinking the nine months. Work that map a little bit more, maybe try to have better reads into. This is going to be a big round for Flya. But I mean, it's it's just pistol round. Greedy, greedy. Three called it. Way to out Sarah like that? What colors will the MXS okay, well, bundle have? We don't have a bundle, speed. but if we Let's did have one, it would be like um, we could fight against the, the the pistols or whatever. Four spy if YFP wanted blue, to go uh, with probably. Four spy. They had better weaponry at that point. Thankfully, as you saw, they're only playing against classics. Beautiful. Yeah, blue and green. Done. You saw a person being concussed by the Astra Star being placed on Boring. the ground. Boring. So it gives a lot it, it of would it would look like a fucking spaceship, and it would look like stars. And when you shoot it, it would explode. Jizz. Allowed the defense to step up in a more aggressive position. Now there is also a star and of course Viper smokes in mid. Is that good? Is that, are you happy? Is that cool? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Holy shit. Holy shit. What a strategy. So usually you cycle smokes mid, but they drop the Asher smoke intentionally to do a gunfight mid, and then they just fucking slayed everyone. That was say right on that previous kind of dope. Mod fight because he's confident he could build up a showstopper ASAP. Does the same thing this time around. Now has showstopper ready. Dude, he looks good at the bulldog. All right, thief one v two. What's he got? 
the YFP in heaven. He has someone to kill on each place. site, but he does not know this. Could be if he was gonna go to B. Neither site is no free for him. Where these people are, and yeah. Brock and Flyer are split up, so. Definitely a, at least he's going B site. 30 yeah. seconds left. There was definitely a winnable condition or possibility there for Thief if he actually caught Flyer, because Flyer only has his ghost. But Flyer repositioned down towards Long at, at the garage. He's probably going to plant safe here because he, he kind of has to. At this point, he could watch behind the box and give a chance here for Brock to rotate and help him out. And Brock still has a flash. So they go for a flash. Look at this. Flyer not making a move. Oh, and Flyer's not going to swing on this. Smart. Is ready to pinch with Brock. But Thief, mm. Wait for Brock to go heaven first. From B main, maybe knowing that the star was there, I don't know. But Thief, he already cleared heaven. He smoked off backside. He's gonna just watch from B main. But he heard the drop. Nice. That was so well played. That was crazy well played. <laughs> you saw that to make zero the sound time. at yeah. all, that sense wait that for the heaven to make a distraction. That was great. Bad timing. It w don't think of it like timing for this. I don't think this was like. To make the noise first. It was intentional. So he might be able to catch, right? Um, Brock dropping down into sight, and when he did, he didn't turn because he got bored. He turned because he heard it, heaven. So he, ran that he heard down. the rope. I was surprised actually that he didn't try to go for like a flash double swing. Uh, they used a flash to clear out towards spawn instead. But, it, I mean, it's still good. I mean, flashing towards spawn, if it actually did catch Thief pushing out, that gives a chance here for Flyer. To Damn, we're looking good right now. So you, you see the intricacies oh, nice. and the layers of the decision behind a utility. You're trying I like to our split. Success on that advantage, you had to spite the better weapon for YFP. So, great way, once again, converting their bonus round. We have a slightly but different again, team comp. YFP, we talked about this before, I think, with Finesse and Tarek. But we're rocking Astra Viper as opposed to Omen Viper. Lose, but little does he know, there's three. Oh, I can't believe he got one. I actually can't believe he got one. Four to four, Odashima dies mid. They are broke, so I think we should be safe here. Oh, good flick. Jesus, model looks good today. Mata is everywhere, and he also flashed towards spawn. Nobody was towards B heaven, so to reposition from Brock inside a site, so he could support Vic right now. Let's come a huge for the util. Ah, uh, swinging heaven was kind of bold right from Vic. Vic gets overwhelmed. YFP have evened up the numbers, but Bones is All right, wait for a retake. They're all very weak. Hoping to get the plant. Smokes are clear from heaven. MXS peaking. Oh, look at this big fight. Okay, yeah, now it should be now it should be cooked because now you throw a nade and elbow. A nade here does numbers. He missed. He missed. He missed. do their best, huddle together as a team, stand together, fall together, and access. Now tap the spike. Bones knows they're close, but against a rifle, that is a tough place. This is engagement. Oh, dude. He missed his nade. It fucking killed. <laughs> Dude, he's shooting the wall, bro. It's not the wall. Mod, I hate to say it, buddy. That wall doesn't move. <laughs> that wall kind of stays there. Holy shit. But that final kill right there, that was bad spacing in the end for the last two. But it's I'm saying, bro. We'll if we could somehow team. swap Mata's some aim with my utility. You have a chance now to turn around. Ooh, and what a favor, duo. Especially that Bones is one away from a showstopper. So they'll attempt to fight towards this side, oh and so God. will MXS. Big nade here. Wow. Nade off the wall. Uh, uh, Thief gets two? All right, it's fine. Hey, look, honestly, we won four straight. I'm happy. Now there's a camera from Vic that would uh, try to spot... Structure there, but YFP kill everyone, so it's all up to Vic and Brock. Flash and Trailblazer. Uh oh, oh wait. No. Uh oh. Doesn't even care. He gets two. Fire Has brought this down to equal numbers. Showstopper Bones. Ring around the rosy. Flashes. He sees both. Oh! Fuck, there was a universe. And YFP. 
If he kept shooting, there's a oh bullet God, that could have gone. Up to that one. If he kept spraying, that could have been Broctagon. Yeah, again. he needed to keep spraying the clutch, there. But the Damn. A great double entry by Thief. So much good utility was thrown there. Yeah, Thief played well there. Just to push back that second round where they got plastered by both Fly and from Mata when they were on Classics only. This time to use util to push him back. Thief didn't give a damn. Just walked out. Who's IGL? It's a uh, Fly. Playing towards that B side. Fly and Physic. The plant, but then Brock really made it difficult there for YP to set up on the Pulse plant. That would have been we haven't a seen a Brock to gone in a while. To be YP, fair, we haven't needed a Brock to gone in a while. We talked about the low economy. This is one of the oh wow fewer buys that you have from MXS. I mean, they're still running the economy on their side. You see, a lot of these players are playing half shields because they want to have a healthy buy in the next round. Still, oh, good trade there. Nice job, Otashima. Nice, good wires. Good shit, Vic. Good shit, Vic. Lock down that site. Why is my YouTube symbol that's colorful? I believe it means you're using truffle. Where the setting up. If not, right? Just I think that's what that means. And just caught like a web in this, uh, I think sorry, this means truffle. This means web, member. Just like Penny did. And definitely Vic was ready to, to seize the opportunity. To so if it's red, and, they're not using truffle. Uh, they're in the regular chat. Rock was perfect towards that ace light. Beginning to the end in that round for MXS. They didn't give a chance here for YFP to show that they have what it takes here after they got the plan thank you it's jonathan how come odashima does an igl him being the old again, coach moments where oh well they think they have control let's just try to push uh i think there's a big difference like between a coach and an igl in terms of what they provide to the team uh but i also think flya is kind of better at having maybe confidence to make calls mid-game and kind of likes that role and Odashima can still have ideas and bring ideas. Just because someone's an IGL doesn't mean they're the only one talking, right? Odashima's definitely bringing ideas to the table. But the one person who you listen to when they make the fucking call that everyone's got to listen to is... It's Fly. I think he likes doing it too. Is it Odorous or Odashima? I mean, look, he's going by Odashima. I'll call him Odashima. Are just getting hit and they're not able to always have an even trade in that regard. This, that, is there a truffle for iOS? I think they're working on it. That they could start using here with this composition is that a heaven control. You could still have a Where do I get truffle? Truffle.vip or just look up truffle chrome extension. If the util is correct, right? Because Vic is currently playing it in a position or where whatever extension for browser you use. So you have a really a good chance to suffocate the A site ramp. The app really is out for truffle right now. Oh, it is. In your there we go. If you take control of that A ramp. Right now, they're just brute forcing and onto the into the ground, not really splitting that much into these sites, which makes a lot. Look at this coming B. To set up. I mean, look at this. This is uh, once again another attempt of them leaving B. Why does it look low quality? Down towards that B main, but how much control did they have on middle? Zero. Maybe it was going to be a, a late lurker or something like that. They're trying to re-hit. I mean, they do have a little buy, so it's understandable. But they do they do need to get a little bit more of this uh, verticality control, I think, at this point. If the double dive... It looks like the they're going to omen ult onto A. Forward. They're trying to and sell Brock a fake here, maybe? The, the a side, or the a long area. Although it's, a, it's an eco, they shouldn't um, use it. They probably won't use it. Use, oh, they are going to use it on the eco. Yeah. Was so far pushed forward. And now that gives Neural Dev to Vic. And YFP, they're playing. See, that's what I thought they were going to do. But I think they need better guns, probably. They're dead. They're dead. Yeah, how is how easy is it as you can see now Odashima on top of the A heaven just stays on top like he's on a turret looking They're looking very like good right now. Z, Although, to be fair, zombies, this map is very right hard now, right? again, on attack I, I still. To at least give it to YP. It's very, very hard on attack. Round, but I do hope to see a it's the exact like, opposite uh, of Lotus. Of what that could look like you can win YP eight rounds on defense and not feel good. Heavens, you still might lose. Because they still have a very hard time entering the site. Vic is alive the whole time too. Yes, he's low on the kill feed, but it doesn't matter because all that util is so good to allow the other teams of MXS, the other players of MXS to get these kills. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, this is going to be a tough one to win. Okay, Mata needs to get one kill. Okay. 
blank out of them excess. Never mind. This anchor physics. Snake bite doesn't even push him off. And Odashimo is checking the corner and he gets caught. YFP. Just upping the aggression and forcing MXS to make quicker decisions. This is no longer in MXS's control. Fly is in a 1v5. Oh. Willing to save the rifle, gonna do what they can, and YFP get us any flawless. Yeah, you, you, you said it correctly with the YFP forcing MXS Navi got 11 attacking rounds recently. Wasn't the correct I know it was super, that, super defensive the sided, the then they fixed it, and then it got it's more attack sided. YFP, though. The change of pace that they had was his Viper. But I don't know. Every time I see pro teams play and they do the fucking smokes mid, it just feels like mid is impossible to get control of. Or, or, like, attack side takes, like, the really good teams, I feel like they take literally a minute, 30 seconds off the clock before planting the bomb. It still feels very defensively sided, yeah. Uh, Sotblom. Had that confidence once the fight back against YFB. Think that it could be alone and hope you're good, man. down two with them. Hope like you're good. Hope you're enjoying speed in the roster. Yeah. But unfortunately, there they um they paid the price and that gave it hope your, life looks up in Spierge. Um, but at least now they have a pit. I don't have any words MSS. of wisdom. A double util going in here in, in Svenska, but I appreciate the kind trip. message and uh, that will help here fly a fight inside the spot. And Brock's flash and go deep enough. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of Bro, they flashed. Oh. Bro saying imaginary words. Kroka. Flika. It's all up to Thief on a 1v3. Yes, having a smoke. That's going to go away. Puts himself in a safe position. Is trying to force these 1v1. Not Kloaka. Not Kloaka. Kloka. Not Kloaka. Whoa, 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 Vic. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Buddy, buddy! If it didn't, if it didn't happen to that wall coming, big, whoa! The fight into the A site. They just went for an all out hit towards B with no B having control. How many kills here? BT Hokey Lover, thank you the twenty gifted. That was two or three at least. Gives a chance for Brock to run around the map and really not allow YFP to get a plan. They weren't former teammates. That's really the nature currently. Vic was Shopify in. They think. I guess no, they were teammates. That they have. MXS discovered here with the Wait, no, that, uh, they weren't. MXS were they? Uh, against thinking men, but yeah, they're definitely uh, they're definitely in for a surprise. I think they were. They were. Off season though. They were not teammates during the season. That's what I meant to say. Who else could emerge? Gonna see what info the Trailblazer gets. There's at least one in heaven. Now cutting noise. They are gonna get flashed. Thankfully, there wasn't a swing out of MX. 4v3. YFP, YFP okay, bunched up mid. Heaven. Looks like they might go A right here. We don't get flashed, baby. A. I like this at least though. They they have some mid control, so they have an opportunity to fight towards the heavens, but they can't split anymore. Just unlucky that Bones got wall banged down to corroded by the stink bite to die, but Vic. So three versus one on that site. Vic. Still to heaven. His life and the paranoia. Next to him is a teammate that's getting smoked off. Vic. Not wanting spike planted to show his position quite yet. Also doesn't want to show himself to someone. Oh wow. Physically. One shot. That, that's huge. That is a huge kill. Three versus three. Now Physic can just play at the back side and be the babysitter to the spike. Yes, flash. Want to retake heaven. Damn. Damn. And now what happens when you take heaven control? You win at that point oh there for YFP. Right at three versus five, though, at this point, that was well converted by YFP. It looked like it was over from the game when he lost their early players on that mid control attempt. But the the protocols and staying calm under the pressure to just not give a damn about Vic in the back of the site moving and still biggest boy thank heaven. you for the membership this beautiful flash that came up for that double swing to just guarantee what time what is it here it's like 2 30 one v one if your player died in the back of the a site to hopefully convert the round so well done here for IP they understand now that a control seems to be an opportunity this map's either rush B or split a through heaven hey, that's an opening pick for Guys, I don't like what's happening to my team. They fake it. They're not even going to commit to A. They've dealt with the biggest teams in their butt being brought with these flashes. You're walking through? And fly out, try to make their way through the snake bite and the smokes and 
now in hell the yfp we'll get a plant down it's vic with a one versus five but he is nowhere to be found nah he's real for that yeah i mean a 1v5 at that point when you're a cypher with no util it's gonna be impossible <laughs> and that economy you finally see it here despite being a seven to three never played val but i don't like this map for no reason rather, sorry this would have been two rounds loss in a row for yfp really they i like this map a lot a although i like it no i like this map but man what i like playing it pace there for yfp on the attack this time really doing a good job pinching into a heaven control from both middle and a ramp so they satchel across that got a showstopper double kill inside the vents while they also open up and gain control towards that uh mid side right to really push those players towards them and now now they understand where Vic is uh -oh. at, they'll try to hunt him down. How many guns can he take away though? Alright, two's not bad. Oh, shoot him back. Shoot him back. God damn, shoot him back. Move it in, thank you the 10 gifted. Like on mm. Lotus Thief is left in these one DX scenarios that I think he he does a really good job on. Not in this. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. He wasn't in a one DX. We do have two alts. Really They're not really. bad. Match means a lot to Thief. He's definitely doing a lot right there for uh, for YFP at this point, and the results are you currently seeing from YFP. If it wasn't, it looks like they're going mid because they think we're weaker mid. Maybe uh, it would have been a different story here as well, but which they would be the right about. Of Vic saving that weapon, if he could have, that would have been four rifles for them in this round. But instead, it's a judge in the hands of Mata, and he has to play it towards the ramp. So that gives a little more space now for YFP to work with, but. Unfortunately, they have to understand that, right? There's a lore by. They might be working with a judge somewhere in here, and yet they're still trying to work for mid control. And We're going up B heaven. Had someone jump out of vents towards Good heaven. flick. Yeah. Great no flick. Oh, weird. All right, three v two. Physic is low though. From the front, just from below the the B side. GG. Hee haw, thank you the five dollars. Yeah, there was she snake bite on really my showstopper till I cosmic divide. Am I right, Lud? Dude, what did Stan say the other day? I did the worst minus two for Stan the other day. Now they take the attack. And how do you play this for YFP? Now you needed more rounds on the attack because he had this double uh, duelist uh, composition. Yet still very doable here on the defender side at uh, map like split. MXS just cutting off the main with their viper wall yfp protecting heaven as much as they can but also giving up some all of ramp in this case and that's all right let's see our t side who is in ropes, who you're is a in dead heaven. man look at that much. actually one hp okay that's a huge kill Oroshima just dry peaks and gets caught by Jonah, giving him access the option of pivoting b two will await them there we definitely go a here it's not even a question with the paranoia too but and excess now cut noise and try to be elusive. I mean, they'll make noise now by grabbing his orb, so YFP have to be ready for it. But there's so many players from MXS right now on this head towards the A site. Really? It's a fake, fake to B? Holy shit, they're team. actually so... They're so high level. This is actually a good opportunity right now for YFP. Thief has pushed all the way out towards B main. He's gonna hear all of this rotate. Penny just has to stay alive for now. Good flash by Thief. What a flash by Thief. Wow, and he gets two. Thief is playing well. Speaking of two, two left from each side in that post plant. Vic will get Bomb it down. And we have a cam no, heaven. That's huge. Them at the a site last cam time. heaven is huge. And physics still has a flash. So we know they're CT. With nothing but hope and trust in his teammate. As Vic knows, there's no one in heaven. And you caught physic lacking. No flash bones at 9 HP. And 
Oh my god, I thought Brock wasn't gonna swing. Damn, that camp haven't got so much info. Yeah, Going to LA with my family in July, got any recommendations? Been in Disneyland, not much of a beach guy. But you can definitely see from the defaulting that YP had uh, Yeah, what's the what's the LA the LA to do list? He was playing mid solo as you watch a movie at TCL, you hike Griffith Observatory. Even if you don't like the beach, you can eat alongside the beach at a restaurant. And YP had to fight back from the extremities. So that was that's the game plan still. They're still working the extremities on on Get yourself an in and out burger. You can check out Little Tokyo or Chinatown. Both are sick. If it isn't, then MXS probably figures that out too. MXS, wait for the trailblazer. Universal's not bad. If you like bars, you go to the Arts District. You already saw the lineups being set up at the beginning of the round here where they wanted to land that orbs being thrown on a top bunch of, of fucking museums and corrode anybody who's trying to walk across towards the entrances to catch MXS off guard as they're flooding inside the site. So very, very well done at that point. Staying far you know, what's kind of fun is uh, the understanding or funding. Shit, pistols. what do they call it? Now it's open it on the weekends the only. About it, right about the, There's the a bunch of night markets that are open on the weekends only, which are kind of fun. But middle to fight against the initial I did a stream there with Miz once early against it's uh like a giant on his side rather, god what someone help me out it's a giant warehouse he only has one snake bite so therefore less utility to delay on middle uh, the responsibility continues to be very you hard. buy a bunch of pokemon cards there frankensons frankensons is kind of fun dude he tanked that shit that was beast Damn, they play that so well. And reinforcements from Visit came in to at least get a trade in place. Penny, this is still doable. Has the dash, but is going to stay safe in heaven. Does that make sense? I just spotted the little man bun there. Team's looking hot. Our T side is so much different because I feel like we are pushing mid. We're giving him so much pressure mid every round, and I feel like YFP didn't do that. Oh, going CT is so smart here. Holy shit, going CT is so smart. Spotting anyone in the back side, but spotted someone at the door. And this is just a horrible place to try and push into, especially now with the snake bite. Flying but over so funny. Person is there is the question that Penny has. Now he has ult. Heard someone stomping though. Penny. Fire in the That's his own stomping. He's trying to make noise. Oh, show that for some type of noise. Oh my god! The timing out of Penny. Oh my god. And a showstopper to end that. That's so unfortunate. For, uh, at least Holy Mata shit! Mata had a showstopper. I need to see that again. But what I mean, I love this read from MXS when they realize that the orb came up super early. They're like, oh well. That's crazy. Nobody saw us. That's crazy. Really Not even close. <laughs> there was an opportunity, or Not even close. Haters will say we almost lost. Orb. I would say and Not even close. MXS, True. Thank really you, the ten gifted biggest side. boy. Thank you, Zenby, for the five. Penny to try to win that round for the team. Uh, do content with the MXS guys. I'm down. But the thing is, like, I'd rather they just. A lot of teams do content. Because that's how they make their money. And, like, the way players talk about content isn't all the time like they love doing it. They just have to do it. It's their contractual obligation. I don't need them to do content. You know, at the risk of sounding fucking annoying here, I think the content is just me watching shit. It's just me. So like, the if there's an idea that's fun, I would love to run it. Bones inside mail, so you could still but I do not need them to do it. I'd rather them just play out of their minds. Orb, but that means there's nobody playing towards this A site now. Penny's holding it solo, and he doesn't even have a dash. You use it. I'd rather them round. full focus on just He's being the best players they can be. Gambling a spot here to try to anchor for YFP. The paintball thing was fun. So, like, he doesn't know how many are at A. It all depends on if MXS can successfully push mid. Yeah, I saw Zane's YouTube video. We talked about that a lot. Oh, but this job is going to hurt. At least they go one to one. One to one's great. And again, we have mid control. We are, we are just fucking dusting the mid. Huge fight for Vic here. Looking the wrong way, buddy. Running it back B is kind of smart. There's literally one on B. 
Uh, do they have time? They're gonna have to kill the guy back site. Uh -oh. Nice, that's a huge fight. And they get the plant off. Wow, wow, wow. 3v3. No ults. And they have we do have better guns. Now. No flashes or anything. This might be over for YFP. Unless they get an early pick against Brock right now. A long range fight on the top of the balcony. Damn. Odashima a little bit low there. Nice. Nice. Remember at the start of the stream when someone said we were getting diffed? Yeah. I do remember when it was 2 0 and they said, wow, MXS getting diffed. I do remember that. With that call that. There's three players alive. They have no util on their side. They haven't been win really winning. That, you know what? That, that, that was impressive to me. Against MXS, they potentially could have saved their because they, so they were deep they in A, a and they canceled and made the decision yeah, to go to B was, so fast that they yeah, still had time to kill the guy on site and get bombed down. Like, you have to very quickly change your plan of action. That was impressive. That overextension in the back of the billboard was everything. He needed to First map's 13A. You can see in the top left. Confidence is everything. Yeah. Confidence, but also quick decision making, right? Damn. The Seekers crush knives. Oh my god. That's so fucked. Uh-oh. GG. G fucking G. Odashima, Brock, Vic, Fly, Amada. Looking good, boys. Looking feel good. Smell good? Is Odashima rocking contacts? He looks younger. Damn, what a fucking map right there. That was good. Hey, 5 0 on the split. That is the end of split one. Let's get some W's in chat for MXS. They did not lose a single series. We look fucking strong, man. We beat everybody. We beat Core. We beat Oxygen. We beat TWT. We beat YFP. We beat Thinking Men. And we leave 5-0. The first team to be 5-0. That's good shit right there. That is good shit. Our next game is actually going to be the Mid-Season Cup. The Mid-Season Cup is going to start May 15th. So it's actually a... Uh... Oh, wow. We have a big break, actually. Oh, there's a one-month break. There's going to be a one-month break. So there's going to be no games for the next month. Yeah. And we'll be back for the Mid-Season Cup May 15th to 19th. Which is not really... It's more so just for the money. The points aren't that big of a deal. You get six points for first. Uh, which is, like, fine, but, like, we get 10 points for this. One is Ascension to Tier 1. All right, let me run it through real quick. Here is the way that it works, folks. It's a little confusing, so let's keep up. The way it works, we have Split 1, which we just wrapped up. We ended 5-0, and 0, which means we get 10 points. First place from each group, get 10 points, the most points you can get. The bottom two move to Relegation. That is the next stage. AKA, there's a chance we will not see Thinking Men or the Glazers next split. Because they're going to go up against the top two teams who rise up from the ranks uh, in Premier. And then the top two teams that that exit this tournament will join uh, for the Midseason Cup. The Midseason Cup is more of like a for fun thing. Let's see where everybody's at. There's no eliminations from it. Nobody's gone. You just might earn some points and money if you're top four. That's it. That's it. All 12 teams play. You might earn some money if you're top four. Okay? After the midseason cup is split two. It's the same thing as split one. However, you play the teams from the opposite group. Okay? So same thing as split one that we just did. We're going to play five teams, but we're going to be playing the other teams. And then there's going to be a tournament. Similar to the, to the midseason tournament, but the seeding will be based off of the points you've earned throughout everything. Uh, and that tournament will send two teams to the Ascension Tournament. I feel like I need to explain this better.
Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, so we have split one. What do you get for split one? You get points. The points determine your seed for mid-season tournament, MST, mid-season tournament. This tournament is just for money and then also points. Okay? So you get even more points. Then we have... Uh, split two. Split two. Which is for, guess what? More points. And then all of these points determine seating for the uh, final tournament. And this will narrow down, I think it's actually eight teams. Eight teams into two. So the top highest teams with the most points will get seeded, and then we'll play out a tournament, double elimination, to find two teams. Where do those two teams go? They go to the Ascension Tournament. And those two teams will join... Two teams from Brazil. And we'll join two teams from Latin America. And then those six play it out to determine one person who joins franchising. Actually, you might be right. I think it might be, it might be, it might be one team from Latin America, one team from Brazil. No, no, I think it's two from each. I do think it's two from each. Ah, uh, no, I think, I forget. Either way, this is the general idea. So that's the system. We just finished this. We are here. Boom. That is done. Now there's a month long break. You might be saying what's going to happen in that month long break. Well, there's a relegation system, so the team with the least amount of points will play new teams to basically fight for their spot to stay, all right? And the same thing will be happening in between uh, split two and the finals. So, month-long break. What's franchising, and is that tier one? Yes. Franchising is being a part of VC. Different words for it. Franchising, tier one, VCT, whatever you want to call it. It should be tournament style. Why has it got to be so complicated? Well, it is tournament style, but they're extending it for, I think, one more content. And then two, like, higher seating. I don't mind how it works. I actually kind of like the way it works. What I would, I would literally change one thing and one thing only. You see this eight number? Make it six. And then I think you have a, a really good program. Because currently, if you get the first seed... If you do all of this work, all of this work right here, and you get the first and second seed, the only thing you get is a slightly higher seed. If there's six, then you would get a buy, which I think is way more valuable for, again, this much work. I'll never deny the yapping allegations. Do we get a bundle if we go to VCT? Yes, we do. Yep, I'll give you an example. There's a team who did this last year. We got third place last year. Uh, M80 got second place last year. And first place was G2. And this is their bundle, which actually honestly isn't bad. I think they have one of the better um, banners. What happened to the guard? Uh, it was owned by... Stan, Steve Kokney, the guy who owns the Los Angeles Rams, he sold it. And by sold it, he, I don't think, made a single dollar. All right, chat, we are going to play a couple daily games, and then in a little bit, 
we are going to make our wheel for Elden Ring. So let me change my title. Uh, daily games, then Elden Ring wheel punishments. Uh, what else did I need to do? I wanted to change my thumbnail. That way people don't come in confused. Magnus Mippo did a climbing video with PewDiePie. Yeah, I do want to watch it. I'll probably watch it offline. I don't think I'll watch it on stream. Um, I, but I, I, I think it'll be a funny video. It's just not a... I, I don't think... Uh, although I'm like, you know, I know Magnus. I don't think... I, I, I've never really watched his videos on stream unless I'm in it or something. When I saw your initial like... But yeah, it is this one right here. Instagram clips and stuff. I was like, oh, is he just climbing once in a while? Like, I you was. look like a, Yeah, but you look like a I can't climb above a V2. It's probably because you're not keeping your body close to the wall. You're using, your, your arms are probably cranked. A lot of things you can improve. All right, chat, let's uh, let's do our dailies. What ad blocker do you use? Uh, I think it's uBlock Origin. I don't know if it's still good. It used to be good, but they might have fell off. Aforesaid. A adjective meaning said or named before or above. A foreseed comes from Middle English. Com what the fuck? A foresaid. A adjective meaning said or named before or above. A foreseed comes from Middle English. Dude, it's the first word! Beagle, a noun meaning any of a breed of small, short-legged, smooth... Shindig, a noun meaning a social gathering. Pending, a preposition meaning during... Health, a noun meaning the condition... Okay, cruising. Shepherd. A noun meaning a person who tends sheep. Sheepherd origin. Rudiments. A noun meaning a basic principle or element or a fundamental skill. Usually. Squabbling. A verb meaning to quarrel noisily. We're so back. Stampede. A noun meaning a wide. Oh, we're so back. Hardvark. A noun meaning a large burrowing nocturnal. Frigid cum. What? Heritage. A noun meaning property that descends to an. What if I go five for five on hard? That'd be impressive. Livery. A noun meaning a concern offer. What if I go five for five? Listian. A biographical name meaning Franz, 1811. 18. Trough. A noun meaning a long, shallow, often v. Anent. A preposition meaning about, concerning. Anent originates from Middle English, unevent, meaning alongside, itself from Old English, on FN. A forced. It's aforesaid, okay? Shepherd. It's Shep Heard. I don't know what the fuck I did there. Rudiments, like rudimentary. I should have got that one. Aardvark's two A's. I knew that. Listen, I would have never gotten. Anent. Okay. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jude Law. Jeffrey Wright. Rachel McAdams. Get me out of here. NFL, Alan Hearns and Alan Robinson were a 1,000-plus wide receiver duo for what 2015 AFC team? Chargers, right? Fuck. Drafted in the first round of the Pittsburgh in, of Pittsburgh in 2013, this New Zealander big man was the starting center from 2013 to 2020. Steven Adams, he still plays. Okay, there we go. Back on the board. Wayne Gretzky played his final three seasons of the NHL with which Eastern Conference team? Uh, the Capitals? I had no clue. Uh, the Mount St. Helens Volcano is current uh, located in which state? Montana? What? Oh, it's Minnesota. That's annoying. Uh, which two celebrities are these? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think that's Robert De Niro. Robert. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro, Robert. It's not Robert De Niro, I've decided. Who is the face? Oh my God, it's the fucking, uh, she always plays like a hot mom, right? She, she plays like a hot mom. She Isn't she, the, she plays the mother in Spider-Man, right? I, I, I get a pass for a second. Route 44 sized beverages, the foot long quarter pound Coney in Ched R peppers are all items offered by what chain? Uh, checkers and rallies. Okay. 
Launched as NetSpan in 1984, NBC Universal has owned this American Spanish language network that provides news, sports, telenovelas, and reality shows, and more. Oh my God! Uh, like Mundial, Tel Tele Mundial. Telemundo, excuse me. Following the yellow pill shaped creatures, this 2015 animated comedy, Despicable Me prequel, oh, Minions? Stacks on deck, Patron on ice, uh, and we, we can pop bottles all night, and baby, you can have whatever you like. By T.I., great. Uh, God, what is her name? The hair is giving Robert De Niro. Or maybe Kurt Russell. I did see him at a restaurant once. No. Okay, is Robert De Niro not on here? Robert De Niro and... God, what's her name? Lisa Cummings. Um... Uh, uh, Jamie, Jamie Siminoff. All right, let's see it. It, dude, it was Kurt Russell and Marisa Tomei. Marissa Tomei, was I right that Marissa Tomei is exactly who I was thinking of? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Wait, was it? Yes, I was. Spider-Man No Way Home, May Parker, yes. Dude, I was right on Kurt Russell. I did not know that's how you spelled it, though. Sonic, I uh, really am not a Sonic guy. It's in Washington? Well, that's embarrassing. Joseph, thank you, The Five. Hey, Lord, hope you're doing well. Do you think you'll ever get back to Dubbin and the Holus saving Baldur's Gate? Really enjoy those streams. Dubbin might be pivoting to actual D&D. What should be coming soon? New York Rangers. And then the Jags. Oh, yeah. He was on the Jags, wasn't he? They're forgettable, that team. Is that the Yard D&D? Yeah, it is. Just that it was just a fancy way to say the Yard D&D. Let's go from Eritrea to Palestine. We're going to have to go through Egypt. Uh, Egypt and Palestine are connected directly, no? I guess no. Okay. And then Egypt down. Uh, what is on this side again? Is fucking... Where's Turkey at? Turkey's all the way up there. It always fucks me up. I never knew that. Uh, what is up here? It's, um... There's Sudan. There's South Sudan. Is that it? Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's nothing on the right. There's literally nothing. This is literally, can you name Egypt and Sudan? Okay, cool. Wonder Bread. Two. Okay, wait. We're talking about two loaves of Wonder Bread. Four ninety nine, three ninety nine. I feel like it would not be three ninety nine. Am I crazy? If I go to my local Costco, is that th three ninety nine still? Really? It makes you wonder. It does. Out of touch? Wait, being a dollar off is not out of... I feel good about this. If anything, in my head, I was like, okay, a Sara Lee loaf of bread is about two fifty. So let me 2 exit. I felt good about that one. What the hell is this? I don't know. Is this, is this Chicago? 
We're in America. I don't think this is New York. I think this is uh, Chicago, if I had to guess. Maybe it's just New York, though. Maybe it's the Brooklyn Bridge. It's just so old. I don't know this building. It's 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 uh, probably iconic, but I don't know it. Uh, fuck, dude. There's so many places it could be. Does Chicago have a bridge over water? The answer is kind of no. So I don't think it's Chicago. Right? I mean, they have a bunch of water, but like... Do they have a really famous bridge over the water? Hmm. Okay, I think it's no on Chicago. It could be New York. Could always be New York. New York has many a famous bridge. Take your pick. It could be right here. Uh, What's another place that would have a famous bridge? I guess the fucking Golden Gate Bridge. I don't think that's this, though. I think the Golden Gate Bridge was built later. I'm going to go New York. It seems like the safest guess. And then these motherfuckers look like they smoke a pack of cigarettes a day because their doctor prescribed them. And that they all used to be newsies and they've graduated to climbing up bridges. So I'm going to go fucking uh, 1920 flat. Maybe even 1917. Because if it was 1918, they should be serving in World War I. So this is before the war. It was the painters for the Brooklyn Bridge. I even said the Brooklyn Bridge. I should have gone to it. It was the painters for the Brooklyn Bridge. And it was 1914. All right, that was a great guess. I feel good about that guess. Uh, hmm. Wow, this one's tough. Okay. It's two dudes chilling in Tiergarten. Is this not Germany? Mostly because this sign right here says die. Which I feel like is how Germans talk. It looks like early 2000s Germany. I don't know what. I don't know why. I'm just going to go early 2000s Germany. Uh, this fancy character right here is the one that's throwing me off. But I'm going to rip it anyway. Berlin, 2000 and like three. Oh, wow. Fucking stellar guess. 2005... It's Loyal Karner on the streets of Berlin with music producer Rebel Clef. Oh, motherfucker, that says 2015. Fuck. A horrible guess for time. Why are they, why you guys got the grainiest fucking camera of all time? Shit. I, look, man, where's your phones? Why are you just hanging out one-on-one? -on -one? There's a whole internet out there. Fuck. 30... Hmm. Dude, what is this language? I think we're in like Bangladesh. Something Hawk Leland. I mean, it's a very, there's a lot of English. That's the thing. But this is Hawk, Thailand. I want to find an area, Dohar. I want to find an area that says something hawk. Malay? You got any hawks?
I'm just gonna go hmm. Hawk. Hawk is really fucking up my day right now. When is this? Could it be India proper? New Delhi or Mumbai? You got any hawks over here? What's the hawk situation looking like? Show me a big hawk. All right, let me move up to New Delhi. Give me a damned hawk. I feel like it's India. But... I don't know where in India. I'm going to rip a new deli. I think it's the 70s. I think it's college students. So let's go to a university campus. What uni do we have? Surely there's a big university. Why do they show me movie theaters? Museum of Illusions? Come on, what's your fucking finest university? Y'all, come on. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Okay, it, it could be the Zakir Hussein Delhi College. I'll rip it. That looks good to me. And I'm going to go 19. Could it be the 80s, early 80s? It could be, right? 1981. It makes sense that it's India. I'm going to go 1981. 1983, it was Sri Lanka? What? That's fucked. That's so fucked. Damn. Okay. People in Sri Lanka joining large queues to purchase basic household items at a government store. Zam, Sri Lanka. All right. What do we got here? The tiniest picture ever. Lu Lucar Lucan What does that say? Way Way Zone Pieles Tucuman Are we in Egypt? Perfumar Optica Florida Florida Bitch, what? Galleria Jardin. Are we in France or what the fuck am I reading? Los Four Ace. Los Four Asses. Zona Cambiart. Dude, where are we? It's definitely a 1991 angle. When did Seinfeld come out? This came out the year after Seinfeld came out. It's a business district. Tucuman. Pilas. Piels. It's Spanish speaking. I'm getting mad at how small the photo is. I wish it was wider. Proof perfume. Oh, oh, wait, wait. This is a hint. They take francs? 
They take crowns. Okay, maybe this is. Is this the Argentinian flag that I'm looking at? No, I don't see the sun. Wait, do I see the sun? Is it just faded? I can't tell if that's the sun. I'm seeing so many of these blue flags. The only flag that I know that blue is Argentina, but I don't see any of the fucking... I guess I shouldn't be dumb here. Is it just beautiful Buenos Aires in a business district? You are my sunshine. Uh, well, now we can get a little more accurate, maybe. If it is here, do they have... Where's Tucumán and Tetracolin? Hmm. I feel like this street looks good to me. Let's go 1992. 1989, Florida's walking along Florida Street in Buenos Aires. Okay. Another good guess. Cafe de Groen. Is that just the Dutch flag? It is. It is. Carton tickets. So we're in the Netherlands? I mean, look, we're probably just in fucking Amsterdam. Let's keep it a buck. I don't know where Carton is. Somewhere touristy. I'd be lying if it said if I said it looked like city center. Marken. What year are we? Okay, it looks like a bunch of grandmas all chilling. I'm trying to look at this camera. I can't tell. Oh no, no. Hold up, hold up, please. The bell bottoms? The red thigh high? Wait. Is that Dutch? Why is the blue lighter? Hmm. I think I'm overthinking it. Let's go Netherlands. Let's go 1990. Maybe even 2003. Three. Wait, is that an iPhone? Or is that a makeup? Fuck, I don't know if it's... It could be 2024, and it could literally just be old people gap. You know? It, 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 it's fucked up. I, like, you know, I, I I don't need, like... Don't give me banana re for reference. Give me 13-year-old Zoomer for reference. Just Photoshop them in. Because I can't tell. This does not look like the group of people who are getting the yearly iPhone updates. I think she's my, my she's my tell. She looks kind of hip. Fuck. 2000 Well, hold up. Let's be smart here. So this should be south of us, which means this is north, which means this is east of us. So there's a big body of water to the east of us, which means we could be like over here-ish. 
looking across here or over here-ish looking across here. Markin, look at that. Fucking found it. I found that shit. Light work. Okay, now I need to find Cafe the Growin'. And I could tell the position of the sun based off the shadows. And from there, find my direction. I mean, hmm. Cafe could have changed ownership. Because there is a cafe restaurant here. What makes the most sense here? We just kind of have to be here, no? Cafe to Gr I think Cafe to Growin could be gone. Rest in peace to Cafe to Growin. They were a stand-up establishment. So I'm assuming this is the new cafe to grow in. Uh, is, our is our boat in the docks? Or are we further out like here-ish? I guess we'd have to be in here if our boat's inside. Could we even be here? Could we be here-ish? Like, could we be here on a boat? Or maybe, more accurately, maybe here. No, because I would see this cafe. Maybe right here. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go 2002. It's a post-9-11 world. You can see it on everyone's face. Oh. 19... 74? Tell me Cafe to Growin's still around. Cafe to Growin's still not there. Okay. 1974 is... I should have gone more off the pants. Fuck. The photo quality just looks so crisp. Fuck. Okay, where are we? Uh, The Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, way off. Okay. Fine. Iraq. Way off. Fine. Lithuania. Chechia. What is that? Poland? Oh. It looks smaller in my head. It's just Poland. Food guesser? Uh, sweet potato, rock candy, ginger. What? Sweet potato. What is rock candy? The fuck? Ginger. We're not big on ginger here. Sweet potatoes? Okay, I'm going to go Japan off rip. I'm warm. It's made in a thin texture, potent in taste. The recipe is similar to boiling the sweet potato for a long time with a rock candy and ginger. India? It borders India, Bangladesh. It's warm on Bangladesh. Borders India to the north. Uh, Nepal? Borders Nepal. What am I forgetting? China? Oh, it's just straight up China. Okay. That's fair. Chickpeas, cucumber, tomatoes, red onion, feta cheese. This got to be, it's like a Greek salad, right? No? The dish is made by combining cooked chickpeas with chopped vegetables like cucumber, tomatoes, onions, and bell peppers, fresh parsley, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper added for flavor. Everything's mixed well. It's to the east of Greece. Is it like some a Persian dish? No. Turkey? Turkey? 
It borders Turkey to the south. Egypt. Jordan, Palestine, Palestine, Israel, Syria, Lebanon. Fuck. I, if I did not waste one of my guesses on Turks in Kinkos, I would have had that. Pork, annatto seeds, orange juice, vinegar, garlic, cumin, oregano, cloves, salt, pepper. I'm going to come clean. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, man, that is just straight up. Okay, wait, this is just like a pork fucking asado, Mexico. Conchita Pibil. Looks yummy. Final score? We fucked up today, didn't we? Oh, we're below average. Ah, oh, I should have had that, man. I could have had that, man. Uh, all right, chat. It is time for the wheel. Stans just messaged me and said 37k yikes. Stans, fuck you, Stans. Fuck you, Stans. Okay, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there's, there's no way you got as close in location. You just know about time, but that's because you were around. That's just because you were around. All right, I got to pee right now. Here's what I need you guys to do. I need you to come up with punishment ideas in your head. Do not say them out loud. Just think of them. I'll be back in a, music, uh, in a second. I don't know I said a music. I got to pee so bad. Chat, tomorrow is the day. It's the return of Elden Ring, but harder than we've ever done it before. It is me, Squeaks, Seamless Co-op, and we are going to go live and stay live until we beat the game. I'll be live all fucking weekend. Now, to make it a little different than last time, we're doing it co-op. But we're also adding a punishment wheel. Specifically, if me and Squeaks both wipe 10 times, and every 10 times we wipe, 
we will have to do a punishment on this wheel. So the question is, what's on the wheel? Change weapon. Okay, I kind of like that. So we just have to change our weapon for how long? Until the next wheel spin? That might make sense. Heavy armor. I don't think it should be forever. I think next wheel spin. No summons? We're not going to play with summons. We're already doing that. Complete reset, eat shit and die? <laughs> Fuck no. No. One of the suggestions can't be reset everything we have done. No. No armor? Okay. Ludwig hits me. Thank you for the $5. Get your haircut and dress like Jesse Plemons from in Civil War. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Shot of olive oil. At least big old stiffy. Think of this uh, memberships. Drink a beer. Some of these are bad suggestions. They're just like a little unfun to watch. So like no horse, for example. It is a punishment, but I don't think it's fun as a viewer to watch us just take longer to get from point A to point B. It seems a bit boring. Kind of a snoozer I, 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 uh, idea. I'll take a look at your art. Did you DM me on Twitter? You did not DM me on Twitter. Just DM me on Twitter. A uh, shot of hot sauce. One hundred push ups. 100 squats. Gift each other 100 subs. Goopy, thank you the ten dollars. Shock collar. And just shock each other once? Like what? Just do one shock?
cold plunge. Fight each other. Winner. Can you fight each other in seamless co-op? Fight each other. Winner becomes captain. Bite an onion like an apple. Communicate using one word replies only. Inverted controls. Nothing happens. Everybody watching subscribes no healing until next spin well I guess until next spin is implied nah and the stream's not an option cause the whole point is I do it till I beat it it'd be kinda stupid We could try a raw egg. Goopy, they get $10. Now, I can't chug a Red Bull for a punishment.
50 ideas here, right? Like, how many times will we wipe 10 times? And a wipe is when we both die. So if one person dies and the other doesn't, it's not a wipe. How many times will we wipe? I imagine... I imagine... I mean, I died 700 times on my own. So it definitely would be at least... Like... Wait. Hello? Hello? Oh, I thought that was voice activated. Holy shit, that was throwing me off. No, I thought this white glowing thing was voice activated. <laughs> so I think... I think we'll have at least 100 wipes. Right now we have 20 ideas, which is good for 200 wipes. I think we need good for at least... I would say 350 wipes. So let's get 15 more ideas. If they're too dumb, then we'll just... Like, some ideas like, dude, unequip all your armor and fucking, like, uh, have inverted controls and turn your monitor off. And then it's like, okay, well, we're just going to kill ourselves ten times and then roll again. So they're a bit too dumb. No audio? I mean, that just seems kind of... For chat, too? Start upper decorating? Must beat another game before continuing. Can be any game. Shirt off. I don't think there's an easy way to switch characters. Play one daily game. Higher score is captain. Order each other food. Must be a surprise. Shield only. Spend all runes. Made outfit. Swap controls to keyboard mouse.
shower. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good one. <laughs> just you have to shower. Even if you just showered. Swap flask amounts. Do optional boss before continuing. Kill an NPC. Did we do no armor already? Yeah, we did. play. I think we'll do that without being punished. Name a hundred women. Slowest fastest is captain. Toast Pink taking the membership tomorrow. Thank you the five pounds. Unbind roll. That's a pretty good list. Is Squeaks live? Okay, no, he's not. I'll talk to him about it tomorrow. I think it's pretty good. Tweet on each other's accounts. Two plus spins? What does that mean? Do you mean like literally stand up and spin twice? Oh, next spin is 2x. Next spin is doubled. Okay, here's the additional rule. Any of these punishments, we are allowed to divvy up as we want. 
So every single punishment it, we both have to do, for example, like uh, if it's shot of hot sauce, we both have to do it. But if Squeaks wanted to tank and take two shots of hot sauces, he could for me. In the same way that if he's like, dude, I can't drink, then I could say, hey, man, I will do two shots of alcohol. We can like homie each other. Some it doesn't work for, like kill an NPC. And like the captain ones. But like the example is like, you know, if next spin is doubled and it is take two upper decker zins and squeaks like, bro, I'm not doing a zin. It's like, fine. That's I take this one. And when you do the hundred, when it's the hundred squats, that's all you at a free space. Uh, free space. Get up and dance. <laughs> I think 42 is a good number. Oh, respin. Respin is a classic. You already have a do nothing? No, I deleted it. I wrote do nothing, then I changed it to everybody subscribes. Um, Add a restart game. I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that one. I really don't want to do that one, though, as it were. I don't want to do that. I don't want it to be... I, there's a way to make it imbalanced. I, I don't know if it's on this website or what. For some reason, it does, I don't see it here, but... Load last save. But, like, the save before the last save, you mean? Does it save both? Or doesn't it save over? Put on five jackets. What? <laughs> I think we'll defeat Melania regardless. So no, no need to have that. We have a 2x spin. We have a lot of the things that you guys are saying. Cutie takes your place doesn't really work because it doesn't work for squeaks. Give random chatter $100. Boom. All right, we need one more. Put on a diaper, huh? <laughs> okay. Right. Respec. Respec. All right. I'll throw it in there. It, it might not be possible depending on when we roll it. Because you have to beat, um, what's her name first? But if it is. All right, chat, here it is. So this is going to be our wheel. So basically tomorrow, every time both of us die, 10 times, and we'll have a counter. We'll spin the wheel. Whatever it is. We have to do immediately. And in the case that it is something like... In the case that it is something like... In the event one of the punishments is like... No healing. That only applies until the next spin. Now in this case, it was a 2x into no healing. So we would have to wait double the amount of deaths. But that's basically it.
if you enable wait, you can lower restart chance. I just, here's the thing about restart. I actually have shit to do next week. So if it's restart Sunday night, I can do it, but we have to end stream and do it another day. You know what I mean? I just, there are some things that I honestly cannot do. And to put it on the wheel would be a lie. I, it would just be a lie. It'd be funny to hit it, but then I would not restart and beat it that stream. I would have to end the stream and do it another day. I do not, unfortunately, have 10 days straight of nothing to do. I just, I actually have shit I have to do. And I can't skip everything because I'm pretty sure, let me check again. But yeah, next week is fucked. Yeah. Next week, next week is fucked. I have a shoot on Tuesday. I have a shoot on Wednesday. I had to bring Coots to get spayed on Tuesday, or at least get her blood work. We got, we got shit to do. We got unpaid intern. It's gonna happen next Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So, doesn't really work. This is your job. It's a part of it. But it, it, I am no longer in a position where I can play Elden Ring for ten days straight. Let me just put it that way. I do have other obligations. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. Seawall Gaming, think of the 10. Where do you want the image of you and Squeaks in Armor Scent? Uh, you can just DM me on Twitter if you have something you want to. Addison Miller, think of the three months. Add Coots Cam to the wheel. Well, the wheel is for me and Squeaks, so I don't like any Ludwig exclusive spins because there's no Coots Cam. Unless Squeaks puts a cam on his feet. But anyway, that's the game plan, man. I'll be live tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay? I'm going to be live tomorrow at 9 a.m. We will stay live until we beat the game. I'll be sleeping right here or back there on the bed. I don't know which one I'll prefer. Uh, And, and, and by the way, guys, this is going to be a you know 50 plus, maybe 100 plus hour stream. The VOD will not save. I am not doing the thing where I'm ending the stream, restarting the stream, ending the stream, restarting the stream. So if you are not there for it live, there will be no way to watch it afterwards until we upload it. Now, we do have a lot of cool safety things, backups, ways to save it, and we will try to post it. It will not be posted soon. It will take a while, probably next week. Uh, and Squeaks' stream also exists. But but I will not be doing that. That's so lame. I agree, but I think it's more lame to like every 12 hours restart the stream. I find that to be uh, icky. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. So I won't do it. Um, I have an exam. That's okay. Like that. Basically, what it means is you'll miss some stuff. You'll not be able to rewatch it unless you maybe watch it on Squeaks' stream. But ultimately, it is fine because you will just watch what's happening live, and it'll be my job as the streamer to like recap if you show up later. And then eventually, we'll upload it. Where can we watch the stream? What do you mean? Here. Right. Same place as always. Will you upload each day? I will upload each day, but I will not upload it the day of. I have no way to do... I'm not going to... It'll be uploaded next week. No, but where? What do you fucking mean? It, what do you mean where... Guys, what do you... My stream. There's only one. I've had one fucking stream for three damn years. What do you mean where? I will stream it here. The upload will happen on the VOD channel eventually, yeah. Just a beautiful image, see what? 
Not Twitch? No. Not Twitch. No. Will you be on time? I will be on time. I will be on time tomorrow at 9 fucking a.m. I'll be on time. Yes, sir, I will. Yes, sir, I will. Yes, sir, I will. I'll be streaming from here. I got to clean up my room a bit. So here's the plan for the rest of today. Okay. Today, I'm going to go work out now. I'm going to shower. I'm going to eat. I'm going to come back at about 7, 730. If you are part of the parasocial club, we're doing another game night. It's a Kahoot quiz. Uh, and that Kahoot quiz will determine who knows stuff the most. Still haven't finished Freerun. No, but I watched three episodes last night. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. This is insensitive to Europeans. Uh Oh, the game night at 7 p.m.? Yeah, that is. But then I'm streaming at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so, you know, they win some, they lose some. Uh, so that Kahoot quiz will be tonight. After the Kahoot quiz, I think I'm going to do a every member stream. I'm going to play Valorant with Lily Pichu. And then uh, tomorrow I'll be live, man. That's the game plan. Does that sound good to everybody? Does everybody understand? Uh, okay, beating Elden Ring in one single stream, round two. This time a co-op run with Squeaks. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. PT. Make sense? Sound good, everyone get it? Freya, thank you for that membership. All right, hold on. Let me tweet this out. Chet, do me a favor. If you guys are still on Twitter.com, if you could please like and reply to my tweet, it would really help out. I think there's about 10,000 of you guys in here. It just helped people be aware of the stream tomorrow. Don't just say no. You always fucking do this. You always do this. Come on. You always just say no. Okay, what if I got framed dot what the fuck in one single guess? Wait, hold up. What if I got the framed what the fuck in one single guess? Would you then do it? Be honest. Be honest. Okay, let's run it. Here's the tweet. I need you guys to like this tweet. Fucking framed out what the fuck. Fuck me. Uh, wait. This looks suspiciously like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Oh my god. Holy shit. Wait a second. He gets it first try. How did he do it? <laughs> Off the dome. Rigged? No, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Guys, Butch Cassidy, guys, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I was actually named after that movie. The main character is called Ludwig. Don't look it up. It's true, though. Don't Google it. It's a fact. Mm-hmm. 
read some of the comments on Twitter. You're crazy for this one for real. My goats. So hype. Let's go. Let's go. Ludwig cheated again. Okay. So it's wrong. Who do you think will die the most? Squeaks. Hands down. We should have a punishment for whoever dies the most or whoever dies the most. Yeah. My goat, I mean squeaks, but where? Okay, it, my fucking stream, dude. My fucking stream. Freerin in Dragon's Dogma. Why is she smiling like that? Are you keeping track of your deaths? I think we should, yeah. Tim, I would love to keep track of my deaths. What time is Vala with Lily? I think 9 p.m. is what she asked for. Where do I find you on Twitter? Ludwig Ogren. Uh, all right, chat. I think that's all I got for now. I'm going to wrap up stream. I will be live again. Parasocial Club Kahoot Quiz tonight. Thank you all for watching today. I'll edit a 2 POV highlight that comes out the stream the, before the stream ends each day if you contact my people. I will edit a two POV highlight that comes out before the stream ends each day if you contact my people. Wheatskins, if you're serious and you're asking to no life edit two POVs, uh, I'd pay for that. I'd pay you I'll be fucking generous too. I'll pay you 20 bucks a pop. Okay? A pop meaning each POV. So that's 40 bucks total. Lock it in. And exposure. I will expose you to so much of the world. That's it? Oh, okay. No, I'll, uh, I'll up it. Um, no, uh, it's going to be $20... An hour with a cap of four hours a day. Did you see that Michael Reeves posted? I know that's a bait. I know that's a bait right now. If you are serious, though, just DM me on Twitter. I will reply. Uh, all right, chat. I am fucking done with stream. I hope you had fun with me. He posted a short. Wait, he actually did? Are you fucking with me? He posted a short? Fun fact, when termites are born, they're attracted to the light of the sun to guide them and fly away. We know this because it's termite hatching season in my garage. Thousands of them scattered. But look what happens when I open the garage door. Ah, the light of the sun. Like a fucking Mononoke movie. They all come towards the sun so they can fly away. But I'll never let them out. I'll never let them reach the sun. Because I have a better sun. Yes, come to your son. Yes, let's go to the sun. A let's million the years sun. of biology has taught you to do this sun. one thing. thing. Go to the sun. Yes. This is all that's ever been in you. This is all you ever are. Go to come. the sun now. I'm only going to learn what happens when the sun comes to them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you learned anything, drop a like below and follow me for more. Fun fact. When termites <laughs> are born, they're... Wow. Also, new video soon. Wow. Hell yeah. Chat, thank you very much for watching. I'm out. I'm out. Hey, appreciate you all very much. Appreciate you all very much. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank you for watching MXS Crush. The last Elden Ring stream, you got tilted so fucking fast. No, I didn't. No. I don't know what mask you're referring to, guys. I, you guys sound like crazy people. Folks, you sound like crazy people. Is Elden Ring members only? Fuck no. All right, see you all. Goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye. Have a good one. See you later. Goodbye. 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 See you later. Goodbye.
If I stack a cake on a cake, is it still one cake? Wouldn't that apply to a lasagna? If I froze half it w so badly cooked lasagna, if you microwave lasagna, is cold on one side. T Wizzle, what the fuck is happening to you right now? We're all so fucking worried about you. What is going on? Come back to us.